Hey guys, how's it going? So finally, here's the most requested video I've been getting so far. It is my bookshelf tour. You guys want to take a look at my shelves, my books. My bookshelves were pretty empty at the time, so I had to wait a little bit to fill them up. And I kind of filled them up a little bit just for this video, but hopefully it'll be okay. I'll be fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please keep your hands and legs inside the vehicle at all times when viewing this video. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started with the tour. If you guys remember from my last bookshelf tour, you will remember that I only had one set of shelves that was on the right over there. And now I have added some more bookshelves on the left. Let's take a closer look. Mm -hmm. So the first book is Dot Dot Dash. It's a book filled with different designs and illustrations on custom vinyl toys. And I am a big toy fan. If I had space to collect toys, I would. But for now, I'm admiring them within a book. You guys know Domo-kun. He keeps me company. So let's get started with the books. First, we have The Monster Monstermologist by Rick Yancey. I gave that a readable. I love that book. Next, we have The Devouring series, The Devouring Solstice and Fearscape by Simon Holt. I love this series as well. This is a young adult horror horror series and I give all of the books in the devouring series a readable rating. Next is Veronica Ross Divergent. I gave that a readable as well. Here we have Eon by Alison Goodman. I gave that a readable. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I gave that a readable as well and Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin which is a readable. Next there is Five Flavors of Dumb by Anthony John and Beastly by Alex Flynn. I received both of these books by Dawn from Titansia. You guys know her. Definitely check her out. Thanks Dawn again for the books. I still have to read them. I'm looking forward to those reads and right here we have the high society series high society is the first book the second book is uncommon criminals i started reading uncommon criminals i haven't finished it yet but i really like it it's very cute oh we have reached my computer let's see if i could <laughs> Okay. Beside Beastly, we have The Iron Facers by Julie Kagawa, The Iron King, and The Iron Daughter. I gave The Iron King a readable rating and The Iron Daughter an unreadable rating, unfortunately. I do plan on checking out the last book, The Iron Queen. The next books we have here, you guys may remember my June book haul where I did the book to movie adaptation theme. And so we have The Unread, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, and The Lord of the Rings book, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I do plan on reading reading it hopefully before the end of this year. The next book is The Shining by Stephen King. I gave that a readable rating. Battle Royale by Koshin Takami. I unfortunately gave that an unreadable rating. Beside that is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk and I gave that a readable rating. That is a very good book and a very good movie if you haven't checked that out already. And beside it is the Scott Pilgrim series. I gave that a readable rating as well. And beside that we have Guardian of the Dead by Karen Healy and that is an unfinished read. I still have to finish. It was okay when I stopped. It didn't blow my mind or anything, but it was an interesting read. Next, we have The Unidentified by Ray Maris. I gave that an unreadable rating. I really like the world building and the society of The Unidentified. It's a dystopian sci-fi, but the characters and the plot kind of fell flat for me. So next, we have Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz. I thought that was a really cute read. Cheesy, but very sweet. Next, we have The Duff, The Designated Ugly Fat Friend by Cody Kuplinger. I gave that a readable rating. I was was very surprised and I really enjoyed that read a whole lot. Next we have Not That Kind of Girl by Cheyenne Vivian. Next we have the Harry Potter series. We have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And I enjoy the series a whole lot. They're out of their Hogwarts trunk because I wanted to display them on my shelves. So yes. I love them a whole, whole lot. Next guys, we have the books that I'm currently reading for this month, the middle grade books. Right now, I am reading The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. I am really, really liking the story so far, guys. It is so good. The next book beside that is The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. I unfortunately gave that an unreadable rating. I do plan on checking out the rest of the series, so don't you guys fret for those who love the series. I heard the next books are really, really good. Next is the first book in The King Chronicles, The Red Pyramid. I thought that was such a fun, light, adventure-ish read. It's a really great book for kids to read. I think they would enjoy that book a whole lot. Next is Trenton Lee Stewart's The Mysterious Benedict Society. I really like that read as well. I can't wait to check out the next books in the series and the characters are just fab. 
fab. Beside my other books, these are my graphic design art books. We have By Hand, which is a design book, Japanese comicers, two comic artists Asia, and the Clamp books are all art books of manga and Japanese artwork, which I really enjoy. Above that, I don't know if you guys can see is Made in Japan and Hello Please. Hello Please is like a mascot book filled with Japanese mascots and Made in Japan is artwork and different things from Japan. Now for the shelf above this we have my manga shelf. We have the Beauty Pop series by Kyoko Arai. Next we have Instant Teen by Fukushima and we have the Auron High School Host Club by Bisco Hattori. You know to break up my shoujo manga I put Death Note in the middle there and that's by Tsugumi Oba and Takashi Obata and beside that we have Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takaya. Um, so I really enjoy <laughs> shoujo manga as you can tell. So these are the books from the left side of my room. Manga, Harry Potter and things. And then we have Tomoku. Yeah. Oop, lamp. So next guys, these are the bookshelves from the right side of my room. If you guys are wondering what kind of DS games I play. I'm playing Mario Kart DS at the moment, but I have Harvest Moon, Scribble Knots, and I have the Japanese version of Pokemon Black. Or white, is it? I can't remember. But anyways, yes. We have Danielle Trissoni's Angelology. I really like that book. I give that a readable rating. I don't know if the sequel is out yet. There better be one. I don't know when I would read it, but I would. Is the point that I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Anyways, uh, beside that is Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. I really want to check out Behemoth as well, the sequel to the Leviathan series. And yeah, it left on a really good cliffhanger and I can't wait to see the relationship between the two main characters. Beside that is Scott Westerfeld's Ugly series. We have Uglies, Pretty, Specials, and Extras. I really, really like this series, guys. It kind of made me fall in love with YA books in general. I just love the sci-fi dystopia aspect and the characters were really interesting and crazy fun. Beside that is like a guide to the ugly series Scott Westerfeld, Bogus to Bubbly, and if you have read the series you will know what those terms mean. Next we have Anne Osterlund's Academy 7. I gave that a readable rating. I really enjoyed that book. That was surprisingly really well written and I just really liked it. Next we have Unwind by Neil Schusterman. There is a sequel coming out probably next year. I think it's next year or sometime. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Next we have the Chaos Walking series, the first two books, The Knife of Never Letting Go and The Ask and the Answer. Love 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 that series really want to read the monsters of men the third and last book in the trilogy and i will be reading that sometime soon so next we have the 13th by georgia twinum the 13th was a really great read it was really fast paced and off the wall crazy but i really like the action sequences and i just can't wait to see where the plot develops the turncoats is the second book in the series i have yet to read that just to let you guys know the 13th is available as an ebook right now i'll leave the link to amazon on to where you can download that if you're interested. It's about five bucks, which is really great. Next, we have Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I gave that a readable rating. I had higher expectations though for the story and the overall book, but I look forward to checking out the rest of the books. So next we have Gone, Hunger and Lies, the first three books in the Gone series by Michael Grant. Amazing series. It's so fast paced and crazy and they shouldn't make a movie out of this. They should make a mini series because it has to be done that way because it's crazy. I gave all those a readable rating. I have to check out Plague so very very badly. I heard it's probably the best book out so far but in due time, in due time. This is kind of my dystopia sci-fi show. Next we have The Maze Runner and The Scorched Trials by Jane Stashner and I really enjoy the series a whole lot too. The first book, The Maze Runner, is amazing. The Scorched Trial I didn't like as much but it was a pretty fast-paced crazy read as well. Next we have The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. I gave the first two a readable rating and I died giving Mockingjay an unreadable rating. Yeah, I was so sad about that book. Great series overall, but I was just sad 
sad. Yeah. So next we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and Clockwork Angel all by Cassandra Clare. I really enjoy this urban fantasy series a whole lot. It's such a fun read action-packed it jace you only read it for jace i personally just read it for jace's character <laughs> yeah 